Hey, what's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> today, I'm just going to do something super, super short, super basic. And honestly, I'm kind of posting this for myself, too, because uh, every time I go to install Octane on a different machine, I forget how to use packages to install it. So this is for me. This is for you. Let's go. Um, this is about it, honestly. I mean, if you've installed packages before, you need a JSON file in your Houdini packages folder. If the packages folder doesn't exist, you can create it. Um, it just needs to have this information in here, which I'm also going to put in the description for you to copy and paste. Um, yeah, basically you just point to your Octane folder. Mine is at D Octane, which is here, D Octane, and then the name of the folder. If you're on Windows, make sure you're using forward slashes. If you copy the path from here, it's going to use backslashes, which is not JSON compatible. Uh, just one thing to note, um, if you are going to use packages, um, which is recommended, I recommend it. It's a lot easier once you um, actually get it running than if you've already used the in the basic installation method in the Houdini ENV file, you're going to want to comment that out in, in the ENV file. You use this uh, hashtag to make comments, and that just makes it so Houdini won't read this. Um, because if you have both, it's going to mess with your, with your launch. You're going to get weird errors. So just something to be aware of. Um, and then this part down here is for the Solaris plugin if you're using LOPS. Um, this is what you'll need to get that going. Personally, I don't actually use LOPS. I just added this in here for the sake of this tutorial. Um, I find LOPS to be the death of all creativity, unfortunately. I wish I liked it more, but I don't. But You know what? Maybe someday I might um, get used to it and I might start using it. Yeah, and monkeys might fly out of my butt. 